Hey, what is up everybody? This is Stevie Breach coming to you here today. We are a week removed uh, from the announcement of the XFL um, returning um, to, to the, uh, the United States here with uh, some good old American football that's going to be going on in the NFL offseason. Um, we've taken a week to sort of decompress everything that has been said in the Vince McMahon um, press conference and sort of, you know, break down what's going on. Um, I will be 100% honest. Uh, we are a week removed, and if it was not for listening to a wrestling podcast this morning when I jumped into the car, um, they talked about the XFL for a brief brief minute because their show came out um, uh, before um, the announcement last week, so they did not have a chance to talk about it. And um, basically, I can honestly tell you that I had forgot about it. Um, I can honestly tell you right now that uh, the XFL, with it kicking off in the year of 2020, um, I think that that's a long way away. And if I, I honestly forgot about uh, the XFL in a week, I think that a lot of people are going to forget about it by the time 2020 rolls around. What are you really going to be able to do to keep this fresh um, and in people's minds that this is a league that is going to be for real this time that is hopefully going to last longer than one season? Um, Vince McMahon has said there's going to be no involvement between WWE and the XFL. Uh, we're not going to have Vince come running out there um, before the first game. This is the XFL. Um, we're not going to have The Rock out there um, doing a you know a pregame coin flip, saying that if you smell what The Rock is cooking, um, there's going to be no Stone Cold Steve Austin. There's XFL money. And there's WWE money. And it's in two different batches. Um, the one thing that I thought was funny, um, people were posting, was people thinking that the opening games of the XFL was going to be, you know, Johnny Manziel, Colin Kaepernick. Um, oh shoot, what the heck's that guy's name who's playing for the New York Mets now? I, I think what a lot of people are thinking is that this league is, is fixing to kick off in just a few weeks, that this isn't going to be happening in 2020. Uh, Johnny Manziel is a guy that I don't think has played uh, in the NFL in, I believe, two seasons uh, after you know being you know, sort of kicked off the Cleveland Browns. Um, Colin Kaepernick at this time is one year removed from not playing NFL Use football. Use the right lane to keep right to merge onto US 50 towards uh, I Sacramento. Didn't, I didn't know she was going to keep talking. Uh, but uh, I, uh, you know, I'm really. Uh, I I remember watching the XFL, um, you know, back when it kicked off. I remember, um, you know, watching the Birmingham Demons. I remember watching the uh, San Francisco team. Uh, watching a few games here and there along the way with, you know, on UPN or on NBC. Uh, I liked a few things that, where they didn't do the uh, the coin flip. They they did the uh, straight runoff for the ball. Um, I'm wondering how many gimmicks that they're going to be able to use um, to really, um, you know, get this, or if they're really going to keep it. Because here um, in the United States, people love football. Uh, they love football in, 10 miles. in the NFL. Take exit six B to merge onto CA 99 South toward Fresno. That sort of sucks, but um, people love um, football. But how much are real people really going to love football? That. I guess you can say he's using, you know, enhancement players, guys that you know would normally be on a practice squad here or there. Maybe you know, due to some politics, or maybe somebody breaking some rules, or you know, just um, not really fitting in with the NFL. Um, they find themselves in the XFL. But I mean, like, let's say there's eight teams. Maybe all eight teams have one player on there that really could be. Um, better than the last guy on some NFL uh, squad, um, you know. So the, the level of competition, I don't think, is all going to be that high. If you remember going back to the XFL, the first game was the week after the Super Bowl on NBC, um, and people wanted to see what was going down. They drew a huge, huge, monstrous rating. And then it fell flat. There were some cities out there, like uh, Las Vegas, who had never had a pro football team, that, you know, for all the games that were out there, 
you know, people were showing up in droves. Um, you know, I believe that uh, Birmingham uh, was like that. They were able to sell tickets. People wanted to go see the games because what else is going on in Birmingham? But cities like Orlando, cities like San Francisco, um, cities like Los Angeles. Los Angeles didn't even have a pro football team at that time. And as of right now, somehow they wound up with two again uh, with the Rams and um, the Chargers. Um, the Chargers are a pretty dependable football team. They're playing in a soccer stadium right now. Nobody really wants to come see them. Um, the Rams right now are playing in the uh, LA Coliseum. Uh, they got a pretty damn good football team. If you're not picking the Rams to, to win the NFC West and maybe be a threat to go on in the playoffs to have a chance for the Super Bowl, this is a team that's honestly only going to get better. Um, you know, I'm a 49er fan, and I still don't know what you're thinking. That's a good football team down there. Um, nobody's really showing up to their games to the point where at one, uh, one game this season uh, that was going to be televised, they were actually paying fans well, not even fans. They were paying people to show up and wear Rams gear um, to make it look like on TV they actually had football fans in Los Angeles. Um, so I think a little bit about this, they're going to have to really plan out um, you know, what cities um, they're going to be in. I know that, that Vince is going to want to be in um, Chicago, uh, Los Angeles, New York. That's what's going to actually make this seem like it's a real um, football league is being in these big cities. But one thing that I remember more than anything else about the XFL is that they need to be taken seriously. And I don't know if it's because of the tie-in with wrestling or if it was just they were owned by Vince McMahon. I know that in today's age, it is not that important because newspaper business is dying. But with the XFL, they actually had to take ads out in the USA Today sports page in order to put their standings, the statistics, um, and the, uh, the, you know, the, uh, the, the information about their games in there. Um, local papers did not run anything um, about it as well. Maybe if you were in larger markets or in the markets that had football leagues, they bought ads to put their information in there. They need real live coverage of this league um, that people are going to care about. Um, maybe even find a way. I know that they have a partnership between WWE um, and ESPN. I'm not saying that ESPN has to buy the television rights um, and broadcast the games, but find a deal that you know Sports Center and ESPN are running your highlights um, to where people can see that this is a league that people want to see um, and people want to be a part of. Um, you know, I, I know that we're a long way away from this and there's, there's, you know, with Vince McMahon, I don't think there's a chance that this is not going to happen, but I think there's a great chance that people are honestly going to forget. Like I said in the beginning part of this video, we're only a week out and I already forgot about it for the most part. Um, so we'll have to see how they keep this fresh into the year 2020 for every idea um, Vince McMahon has um, that is great. There's a chance uh, for the NFL to either steal it or to block it. Uh, maybe blocking um, you know, NFL um, stadiums um, from renting um, to, to the XFL. So there's teams that don't have, there, there's cities that don't have a chance to have a team. Um, anything like that could happen because even though they're playing in the off season, it's still a chance um, for the NFL to have some sort of competition, whether if it's people battling uh, for you know television rights, or if it's people battling uh, for um, you know the sale of jerseys, um, programs, any kind of revenue money um, that uh, they would be bringing in. So um, we'll peace out, and I'll see you guys down the road. XFL 2020.